Hi, this is Almiri Westhausen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine. Today demonstrating needle cricothyroidotomy. Needle cricothyroidotomy is a temporizing way to deliver air to the lungs once conventional airway maneuvers have failed and while you are awaiting definitive surgical control of the airway. The first step would be to correctly identify the landmark for insertion of the needle. The needle should be inserted through the cricothyroid membrane. In a live patient, this is identified by palpating the prominence of the larynx or Adam's apple, this is the thyroid cartilage, and sliding the finger cordially until you get to the membrane between the thyroid and the cricoid ring. In an anatomical model, this can be clearly seen as the thyroid cartilage and the cricoid ring, with a cricothyroid space in between which would be covered by the cricothyroid membrane. When sliding the finger, the gap is usually easily felt. Before performing the procedure, ensure that you have the correct equipment available. You will need a large IV cannula, at least one, two or five milliliter syringe, and a ventilation device with a side port, with oxygen tubing to connect to wall oxygen. To perform the procedure, Attach a 2 or 5 mole syringe to the back of your IV cannula and then clean the area of the Adam's apple and laryngeal prominence. You would then identify the cricothyroid membrane by sliding the finger down and filling the cricothyroid mem membrane there. Firmly stabilize the larynx with your one hand. In your other hand, grab the needle and syringe and pass it through the skin. Aim 30 to 45 degrees cordially and gently advance the needle until you feel a pop as you pass through the cricothyroid membrane. Aspirate air to confirm that you are in the airway. Keep control of the needle and advance the cannula into the airway. Remove and safely discard the needle and syringe. Connect your side port ventilation device to the patient and collect oxygen tubing to the wall into your device. You can now deliver some oxygen to the lungs of the patient by occluding the side port for one second and allowing it open for three seconds. Zero one, zero one, two, three. Zero one, zero one, two, three. Please note that this is only a temporizing measure and definitive control of the airway has to be gained as soon as possible. In order to manufacture easily in your own unit a side port ventilation device such as this, follow the following steps. You will need a 2 mil syringe and the connector port from the back of a standard ET tube. Remove the plunger from the 2 mil syringe. Use a blade or knife to cut a side hole in the side of the two more syringes as shown. Take the ET tube connector and insert it firmly into the back of the two more syringe. This device is now ready to be connected to the cannula on this side and the oxygen tubing on that side. And that is it. Correct insertion of a needle cricothyroid.